So I am here working on this quilt and drew me a pattern. You might have to stop the video, pause it here so you can see the pattern that I worked out. This is for a twin bed, nine and a half inch squares, seven squares across, nine squares down. I had to do this pattern based on scrap fabric, really. Um, this fabric is donated to the quilting ministry that I'm a member of. And there's rarely ever enough pieces to do a pattern, let alone an entire quilt. But a lot of times you can't even do enough pieces. Like I got a whole bag right here that is of two and three pieces of each kind of fabric. So, some of the pieces, the, the, the squares I got though, there was, like in this pile, there was 24 pieces. And in this pile, in this pile, in that pile, there was eight. But in this, there was only four pieces of that kind of fabric. So, what I did was I did this pattern based on how many pieces of fabric I had. And then... I drew my seven across squares, nine across, nine down squares and pin. And then I take a pencil so I can erase in the squares without erasing the squares themselves. And went through and tried to evenly disperse that many in there where I could make it look like a pattern even though it's not. Basically it's based on colors, not not the pattern of the fabric it's based on the colors of the fabric and based on how much of that fabric that I have which is not an easy task to do but I did manage to find enough of these six pieces to make a pattern so I got lucky and that's what I'm working on now is pinning it together into rows that's row one two and three this is row number four and that's how I will sew them I'll go across each one of these in the row until I have the complete row sewed then I gotta sew after that sewed then I pin them together that way and I sew them across then I'll take them back into the church for the ladies and somebody there will put a back and batting on it and then we will donate it to either a foster care child um the pregnancy center or um the shelter um for homeless families with children um it's um we, we donate to all three of those places because foster children can take a blanket with them when they move around. And they can also take, um, and also the twin beds and stuff at the shelters. They always need it. So anyways, that's what we do. And when we do baby blankets for the pregnancy center, um, not these big quilts, but, um, that's where I'm at in this process on row number four. And that's how I'm spending my days trying to get these rows together. Tomorrow I'll start sewing them. <laughs>